Cobb County staff are highly qualified and unbiased in their analysis of rezoning applications as they strictly consider code and land use compliance to render the recommendation of approval or denial. Rezoning application Z98 of 2015 had 97,000 square feet of commercial with RSL at a density of 5.043 units per acre. Staff recommended denial and it was upheld by this board 5-0 in May of 2016. Reasons for denial per staff are the applicant's rezoning proposal, quote, will not permit a use that is suitable in view of the use and development of adjacent and nearby properties will have an adverse effect on the properties to the north and west, is not in conformity with the policy and intent of the Cobb County Comp Plan, which delineates this property as being in low-density residential. A mixture of commercial and senior living residential, neither of which is compatible with the Cobb County Comp Plan as it is presented. The requested RSL is allowed in LDR. However, the overall residential development should be compatible with neighboring residential uses. Most of the proposal is not in compliance with the Cobb County Comprehensive Plan. OB80 is a result of a mediated settlement to prevent further litigation, not a court decision. Questions as to the extent staff analysis were considered in this mediation arise as staff has recommended denial of the original application. The mediated site plan reflects 90,000 square feet of commercial, which is not allowed, and the originally proposed RSL component which is compatible, completely removed. Within the last few weeks, residents have received an email response from Mr. Weatherford pertaining to their opposition to OB80. The second to last sentence in Mr. Weatherford's email states, quote, if you would look at the facts, then I would welcome any solutions you may think of. These are the facts. The county has a county land use plan and has established where residential and commercial should be built. The county has a long-standing practice of step-down zoning within a commercial node. Step-down zoning places the most intensive use at the middle of the commercial center and then steps down the intensity as it transitions to residential. RSL has been used to complete the transition from commercial to residential. Chestnut Ridge, which is located across from the parcel, is an RSL that transitions from the commercial node on the south of Dallas Highway to residential. The node on the north side of Dallas Highway, starting at Barrett <coughs> Parkway, is an example of step-down zoning without an RSL. Publix, which is designated as a CAC, is 95,600 square feet. The end of the node contains the 18,700 square foot Garrison Ridge Shopping Center, zoned NRC, and adjacent to Garrison Ridge subdivision. OB80 requests that this board remove the NRC shopping, approve an NRC shopping center, which is almost five times the square footage of the Garrison Ridge Shopping Center. In comparison, the square footage proposed in OB80 is almost the same as the Publix, which is in an area designated as a CAC and is located at the corner of two four-lane roads. Mr. Weatherford's last sentence in his email states, quote, I must follow the law and not subject taxpayers to lawsuits, etc., thereby letting a court decide instead of elected representatives. However, Mr. Weatherford, you are failing to acknowledge the financial burdens you have placed upon the residents adjacent to undeveloped land. They are unable to write off the financial woes caused unto them to stand up and remind you, our elected official, that it is your responsibility to protect our rights as well. The property owner is not facing substantial detriment if OB80 is not approved. The land is still developable as zoned or RSL. In addition, it should be noted that in OB80, the buffer adjacent to the residential is a passive park, which will be accessible to the public and allow a steady stream of visitors into private backyards. When the avenues of West Cobb were mediated, a 150-foot undisturbed buffer was required. While the buffer has remained undisturbed, it still fails to provide privacy as litter, noise, and light pollution still impact those residents on Ramble Lane. Disregarding the land use plan and inconsistent policy has placed the county at legal risk as reflected in the number of constitutional challenges to zoning decisions. The Board of Commissioners is supposed to be the legal governing body pertaining to the laws and codes established by Cobb County. We request you uphold these standards and not mock their relevance to those who call Cobb County their home. Thank you. 